I need everyone to get their vocal cords ready because we've got the hometown hero, the legend representing Gaiman Gladiators, the boy, the myth from Ang Mo Kyo, Ho Kun Sien! There we go. He's got a really tough opponent in front of him, hailing all the way from South Korea, representing DRX, the prodigy, La Shar! Master of many fighting games, he has played a lot under the tutelage of NL, going undefeated in South Korea's World Warrior and placing fifth place at Capcom Cup X. This is going to be an absolute battle of the Titans. I cannot wait. These are my two top picks to make it into the top two. Let's go back to the commentators. Mm -mm -mm. This is going to be the match that's going to set the tone for the top eight. Will Singapore move forward and hold it down for the home court? Or will Ashar be the dream killer? I mean, he is the fan favorite. He's also, you know, Z was talking about his accolades and everything. And he really stood out from the last captain of that member because he was in the death pool, mm -hmm. right? And he's the one that came out on top, right? He also got scouted out for Street Fighter League Japan. Nice. So that's kind of a, a first time, you know what I mean? Tokido's like, hey man, can I get Lashar on my team? And they said, yeah, let's do it. Out of a big Tokido, smart man. Right, and yeah. we're probably gonna get Ed versus DJ. And then talking to Zien, he's like, DJ is uh, not very good against Ed. Mm. You know, even though he had to play by the day uh, against uh, Yamaguchi, mm. but that was a risky play though, you know? A great one, I think. It's a great one, great clip, it worked out. Uh, but this is against Lashar. Probably, you know, a lot of people are saying he's the best Ed in the business. And the thing is, is the level of awareness, especially with the games that he's played in the past, like you need that level of awareness, right? So for the fact that he's bringing it over here to Street Fighter Six, I am not surprised. Like he, I feel like he never blinks. Like he'll know when somebody has low life, so he'll know when to drive impact or he'll like, uh, welcome somebody in when he has low life to bait out a drive impact from then just to get a big damage with a DP, whatever the case may be. You've seen many highlights from the Shaw, and he is definitely showing and proving that it might be the serious case. Definitely one of the best in the world. Can he get to that point to the top of the mountaintop? We'll see, but he is definitely well equipped to make that happen. Yeah, I think the best part about uh, these two players playing, I feel like they both have similar play styles where they're very, like, hyperactive on offense Facts. and defense. They're Facts. not they're not just there willing to just like, okay, I'm gonna just let you have your turn. You can have your turn, but I'm going to counter as fast as possible. So Zien's amazing at that, at being able to press crouching jab at the right time, but also I feel like Lashar is the same way and the movements, just using the dash, the kill rushes, um, using um, at least for, for Zien's side, instead of doing kill rush, he's gonna be using just cools, going for the back sway, yes. going for the sway low, and trying to get that punish counter, right? Really fishing for that. So if you guys vote, think Zien's gonna win, make sure in the chat, press one. If you think Lashar is gonna win, press two in the chat and you see that little bar, the little pellets just lining up and look at that fan favorites from the online Twitch chat. They are believing oh. in Lashar, but Singapore, literally the whole crowd is on Zien's side here. DJ versus Ed. Maybe they're just banking that Ed is the better character. I mean, yeah, but man, that's a lot of Genki Dime on the side of Lashar. <laughs> I mean, you know, everybody's an avid fan of Street Fighter 6 who watches, so that's not a bad vote, to be very honest with you. But seeing, of course, the household hero, I mean, he was confident talking about it, eating that chow suit last night. But... Yeah, it, it's going to be a tough one just because, like, everything that DJ wants to do is, like, move forward, right? And But he's in that, that range where Ed controls that range, obviously, with just kind of the fireball, um, even with the flickers, especially holding the flickers, because yes. you can't just drive rush when you see him hold it, because yeah. if, he, if he sees you drive rush, he's going to let it go, snatches you up, use an OD snatcher, and right, and then go to the side cannon. That's at least 40% of your life almost there. And if he sees the parry, he'll do the, the, the kill rush into the throw. That, yeah. Yo, this is rough. You know, I like uh, kill rush. I've actually said it when the character first came out. I think he has a little bit of invo frames when he kill rushes on a jump in. So yeah, he can actually yeah, yeah. Like, go under cross ups and stuff like that. So I don't know if he like sniped that. I mean, Zen is not the, he's not a jumper. To be honest with he's you, he's not. Right? He's definitely solid on the ground. So, and this is a match that I really don't get to see. So this is a, 
Well, in terms of the player, it's cool, but in terms of the character matchup, I don't really get to see Ed versus DJ. But the crazy part is you said that he's not a jumper, but sometimes in this match, he has to jump. Oh, because of the flick, because of the, uh, the, the snatch of the, the flicker mix. Yeah. So he's going to try to use uh, the jump knee, right, to get that fast jump, because Ed's one of the characters where the DP's kind of slow. Yes, the right? jab one, yeah. You have to be a little preemptive, just a, sl a tad bit, right? You got to be yeah. a little preemptive. So he might, he's, he's might have to rely on that in that little danger space. Mm -hmm. You know, that danger like that. zone, what Jammer calls it, right? Like that. So that's going to be the tough part. And, you know, you, don't, you never want to be in that position where you have to rely on a jump to win the match, because that I feel like that's not stable. Yeah, I, I, I like how you broke that down. I mean, we'll see. So what you're trying to tell me is that Ed, in the, in the hands of Lashar, is going to throw Cien uh, out of his game a little bit. Well, he usually plays it super clean, but he's going to have to take some educated risk to yes. get some big damage. So Edu Educated risk is definitely the answer. But things, I think that the, the thing that Zien can do, though, is that because Lashar is a person that is hyperactive on defense, Zien getting, I uh, feel like, sway low mm -hmm. on his counter is going to be extremely high. Possibly extremely high here. I would have to say Shin has to condition first. Yeah. I would like, like, if anything, if he lands like a jump in, go for an immediate sway just to see if he texts, right? Like, do like a jump. If you land a jump fizz and he blocks it, just go for the immediate sway to see. And if right? Zien can force Lashar in burnout, he's money. Facts. Because he is one of the kings of burnout sequences. Insane king of it. Mm hmm. Buttons are being checked right now. We make it sure that we have a great match, but we're making sure that you guys are enjoying yourselves at home. Please tweet it out, guys. Who do you like to win? Okay. I'm just glad you guys are with us, man. Fighting games, huh? We Fighting here. What, 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 what we at? Like 30 plus years now at this point? Oh man. Almost just about. It might be longer than that. Longer? Think so? Yeah. Well, I mean, I just thought well, I'm, I'm 20 plus. I'm 21 years officially. So. Yeah, because before my time, you know, Vae, John Choi, Watson, shout out to Watson, Watson Tomo, you know, Tomo, all the throwbacks, guys. throwbacks. Man. So yeah, I think I think we got the button checks going. We got DJ pulling the rope with the character select screen versus Ed. And they did such a great job with Ed because obviously Ed in Street Fighter Five was, I, I guess, the test for modern controls. But now they gave him a, a complete whole tool set, and it just worked out extremely well. Opening game attack, guys, make some noise, y'all. Let's get it popping. This is going to be a slobber knocker right here. Y'all better appreciate this because you don't see this every day. Okay, let's, let's, show. let's get it. Opening gambit. Throw the fireball right away. Try to use the stand light kick. Yep, there's the flicker right there. See, it's just really hard to deal with. And he gets the combo. Wow, from deep. Layers. And of course, throwing that flicker early just to get that punish counter. In the case that Shin want to get comfortable and throwing some plasma, some fireballs. Very representing that sway. Trying to walk back from that crouch jab, but it got clipped. It does have some serious range. Yeah. Whoa! Of all buttons, he sniped out the delay. Yo, crouch heavy. That's like that? There's a jump knee right there. That's the knees that's really going to change a lot, possibly. Oh, perfect parry on the plus frames right there. Sorry. Not the Wailing Moon, please. Ooh, nice backstab. She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We seen the lean back. Whoa, whoa, tranquilo. I'm telling her, they're both very active. They're both going to challenge in situations where they know it's fake. So, like, he hit the brakes on the dry rush? Yes, yes, yes. He's trying to test LaShaw's reactions, and he just noticed it. Like, he's seen it here. They're like, okay, let me not dry rush it. That was so nice. We're trying to bait on the DP, right? Yeah, spend the level two, because we need to get that drive gauge back. Do we have the rhythm? There you go. Mm, two boots. Excuse me. Two chancletas in this case. Nice. Goes for a safe jump. Goes for the burnout. But Zien's okay with this. Oh, Ooh, Soul Ball, the trade. Look at that. Zien, you know, he, he had to adjust. He's like, oh, I got the round. Okay, let's go. That's it. Ooh, that's a great start. You need that. Oh, man. I can't wait to get to this three out of five. I'm pretty sure Zien feels like that, but he has to hit the finish line. Lashar, he's getting those a lot on plasma. He'll get the perfect parry, immediate jump. A lot of the pros be getting that, getting those pretty consistent. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a very good strategy right there. Oh, too, a little bit too far. That's the right idea, though. Yep. Oh, nice landing. I wonder if he teched. It wasn't landing recovery, right? Yeah, it was not. He might have teched right there. There it is. Using the light kick flicker again. Standing medium kick, hold the flicker, plus frames on deck. And that delay is murderous after that flicker. And Zian's choosing the really good spots to jump. I love the empty jump. Spending the level two again. Right, this is not going to kill, but we're going to take that drive gauge to a exactly. minimal. We're going to attack the life ball. That is the life ball right now, as far as I'm concerned. The drive gauge. Look nice. What a way to take your turn back to sequence. The sequence is amazing right there. Yeah, he has to, he has to really Made it! it. Bait it! Bait it with a fake fireball! And you know what the beautiful part about the sequence? Because Ed's DP is so slow compared to like Shoto's DP, that's why he's getting these safe jumps. Ed, shit! That was professional now! Oh, uh, one more! Look at that! One of the favorites, and Zian's already up one? Oh. 
Yo, high level Street Fighter 6. Ow. So good. Nasty. There he goes. Sway low. Tries, tries to fish with a punish counter right there. Taking his time. I wonder if the crowd is powering him up. That might be a stupid question. You know, it's one of those things. The Genki Dama is real in real life. Uh, he'll rush backwards. Yep. Trying to set the tone with the five ball like that. Attacking the drive gauge early on. I'm pretty sure Shin is going to look for some space here. The wake up. No, he tagged. The late tag got exposed right there. Yeah, that's that's a really good button, dude. That's such a good button. It's pretty much an auto delay tech button. Facts. Okay. Again, the crouching light into the DP. Press the button again. Cactus is the end just pressing. I think this is, you know, this is uh, what we call, uh, what's the what's the proper word? Condition. Condition, yes. A lot of uh, shampoo in the mix right now. Yeah, the up kicks are coming soon. I believe in it. 100%. I'm, I'm pretty sure he tried to do crouching fishing. Yeah, right? Try to delay, yeah. So that's why he got hit with the counter on that wake up. That's here, no, there. We in the, in the second game of the second, second round of the second game of the Shark. Whoa, juggle state. Oh, he tried to hold up forward? Yes, he tried. He tried to jump out. This could be the round if he spends the super. Level one? Yeah, this up level level two. Oh! yeah we're gonna we're gonna seal the deal with level two. Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah, what a way to answer back. What a perfect. Kurt Hennings is in the building. Right. Big fan. Match point for Zien, but no meter on his side. The Lashard literally has three bars. We haven't seen a psycho cannon yet. We haven't seen the level two at all. <laughs> Sorry. I always freestyle when I hit this. Oh, oh, go for it. The Sabat. Uh-oh. Press some buttons again. Again, taking the throw this time. No reaction on the tech. Oh, nice challenge. Here it is. Do we have the DC? Uh, definitely. He's a combo specialist. OK, okay. one. OK, he's, he, he got him unstuck. Three, four, four five. five. That was a nice, a very nice there from the shot. Optimal, showing how Ed is supposed to be played around these parts. I mean, everybody plays it pretty often. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh. No technical hit. Oh. Yeah, back throws him back to the corner. Attack, trying to attack that drive gauge. I like that target comp right there. We're going to spend level two here. Then yeah. he got the ball again. What the hell? Yeah, why not? That was OD. That's right. He did have a level two. Wow. OK. Oh, right on time. He needed that or else he would have got burnt out. That was genius for Xian. He had no choice. Ooh, oh. That's it. That's game. And we moving level forward. Three. Another for Xian. Singapore. Xian's eight. Down. <laughs> Top eight in the building. Singapore is ecstatic. There you go. Make some noise, y'all. We got a top eight representative here from Singapore. And it's, of course, your hometown hero, Xi'an. Look at matches. Oh, he needs two more matches? Yeah, two more. Two more. If he stays consistent, two more. And he punches his way in. Into, guaranteed. Into the Capcom Cup. Well, no, actually, no. He wins. Winners yeah, two final. more. Two more. This is two more. Okay, because yeah, he'll be guaranteed top two if he wins two more matches representing that Singapore sucks, at Capcom Cup. But man, that was a huge win right there. Literally, that was the power. The power of just being in the home turf right there. Having all these people just like behind you and just be like, man, I don't want to disappoint them. And mind you, his gal's in the building as well. You know what's crazy? That fan favorite vote is going to go crazy after this. Hopefully we get that up there in a bit, <laughs> but that is true. But nah, just as my man Jamis would say, they was firing on all cylinders. That was a very nice match. These guys did not let up. I mean, I don't even feel like there was like a lot of mistakes. It's just they really made their hits count every time it happened. And then they set up a situation where they had to make a decision with both of their drive gauges was low. And you already can see, I'm pretty sure we're going to see that highlight once again. That's pretty much what closed the round from that perfection parry. That, do it. that and what really changed the game, so I feel like, was ZN's safe jumps against Ed. Facts. Right? Because Ed doesn't have like a five frame DP, anything like that. Right. Like he how he was able I think he labbed this diff, like a specific safe jump just for just for Ed. And it just worked out because a lot of times when he did the safe jump, he had no choice but to block or try to go for the perfect parry. And even if you perfect parry, it's safe anyway. Yeah, man. Shoot. This is going to be very exitious. Yeah, that, 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 that was an amazing play from both sides. And like I said, they're both very hyperactive on offense and defense. So a lot of buttons were being pressed. And that's why you saw so many different counter hits, right? So many different counters because they were just challenging each other. See the knowledge check. And that was such a good closeout right away. Didn't even, he saw that literally that Lashar didn't have one meter. So because at that point, because if you try to go for strings, every time you block something, you're going to build bar, right? Yeah. He didn't, he's like, I need to cash out now because he doesn't have level one. He's almost had level one, but we need to do it right now to end the game as soon as possible.